is our way of, of paying tribute and honoring the veterans who have served to protect our country. This is an honor flight. All we have not more veterans coming in for the day from New York City. The honor flights are just an incredible opportunity to welcome, uh, you know, one of our country's greatest treasures, uh, our veterans. Um, a lot of the veterans have never had the opportunity to, to come to D.C. to come see their memorials. I've always received a warm welcome as compared to, you know, some of those other generations. I'm Courtney Stecker and uh, I'm here today uh, welcoming some veterans here on one of the honor flights. People come from all over the United States to the nation's capital to see their memorial. Being able to go to the wall and see names of people that they know, to know that they are not forgotten and that they are appreciated, this has meant a great deal to them. Breathe in. Arms. So here we are down at the, the Vietnam War Memorial. Um, we're honoring our 72 veterans from Korea, the Cold War in Vietnam. And seeing these monuments and seeing the way we got out on the bus and people thank you for your service. And at the airport, the way they greeted us made me feel like a movie star. You know, it was such a humbling experience. They help another veteran. A, a lot of times, this is uh, for many of these veterans, the first time they're actually, uh, they're at the wall. And a day like today, a lot of these veterans, you don't, they don't, when they're back home, they don't tell these stories. I've read these names at George Washington's tomb. I've read these names at Mount Rushmore. Um, whenever I get a chance, I read these names because I grew up with every one of these guys. Um, Tottenville High School, um, Little League, Babe Ruth, and I, uh, I also, uh, uh, I came back, they didn't, and, uh, and every time I read the names, I get, uh, I get teary, but I, I want to read the names. Um, Charlie Baker, Louis Barbaria, Alan Blair, Mikey Mitchell, Artie Reinhardt, Donald Tinney, and Brian Wallace. I uh, personally knew them all and it tears me up. To be seen and be honored by the so-called common people like myself. For them to say thank you. You know, I never felt, I never felt so, um, you know, so honored before. 